This is the Microbit uh, computer sitting on Bitmaker and it's connected to two Grove devices. The first device is a four digit display and uh, that's connected to port 0 and 1 and there's also a temperature and humidity sensor uh, a DHT22 and that's connected to port 2 uh, using a Grove cable and um, on the four digit display we have um, on the left 14 degrees and that's actually rounded up from 13.9 to uh, 14 degrees and there's a colon and on the um, right of the colon the humidity is 61 percent so the, the actual humidity is 61.9 so that's not that should be rounded up correctly and that's the um, micro bit with um, bitmaker and two grove modules to show the humidity and temperature let's look at the various options of getting our micro bit computer connected to a windows pc and we'll do this in three stages the first stage, we'll have a look at the program um, for the DHT22. It's connected to port 2 on the uh, micro bit. And uh, we have connected to um, port 0 and 1 a Grove four digit display. Now, I've uh, modified the program to show both the temperature and the humidity on the one four digit display. So I push the temperature by multiplying it by 100, rounding it up, and then just add a, adding the um, humidity. Now, um, besides showing it on the uh, four digit display, we're also going to uh, transmit an array of the micro bits temperature sensor, the DHT temperature, and the DHT humidity, and that'll be transmitted on the serial port. Now, if everything went well, we'd be able to um, connect the device and just use the online make code IDE. And the way that this would work is that you'd find your um, micro bit and then connect. And if everything went well, you would be able to uh, show the data and it would come up here. Now, for some reason or other, either the driver is corrupt, but this is not working. So what we're going to do is um, get the serial data, which is um, working because of this statement, and we're going to use the Arduino IDE. So to get that going, I'm firing up the Arduino IDE now, and I'll bring it across to um, the screen. Okay, so I've now got the um, Arduino IDE, and um, it doesn't matter what is on sketch you have at the moment. The important thing is to select Serial Monitor, and when you get the serial monitor, make sure you've got the right board rate. So uh, it has to be uh, 115200. And um, you'll notice I'm going to clear the output. But um, what's happening now is that the uh, information is being transmitted on port 33. Now, how do I know it's port 33? Well, you go to the Windows. Uh, go to the uh, menu right in the bottom and select Device Manager. And I'll bring that across. So there's the Device Manager. Open up the comms port, and there you, are, you have it. I've got two serial uh, links, and uh, the port that I'm interested in is port 33. And that corresponds to what I have here. And uh, what you can do, you can close that and... Uh, you can then select port third, th uh, 33 on the um, Arduino IDE. 
So um, there it is again. I'll open up the serial port and you can see that the uh, data is being transmitted across. Now I'm going to close that. And um, another way of doing it is to fire up Excel. So see if we can get Excel. I'll we'll get Excel working. So under Office, we'll get Excel working. And here we've got Excel. I'm going to start a blank, blank spreadsheet. Now you'll notice Data Streamer has been connected. And the reason I know that it's connected, if you go to um, uh, options right on the bottom, you'll notice that under add-ins, it, um, it's been connected. So I've got, I'm connected at the moment. So it's a, a comms add-in, and you need to just make sure that you've added that in in the right way. Now, once I've got Data Streamer as part of my Excel package, I can then just select it and connect to a device. Remember, it's device 33. So we're now connected to device 33 at the moment. And um, you may have to go to Advanced, Let's see, go to, you may have to go to advanced and um, make sure that everything agrees that you've got the um, data bits is uh, eight data bits. Parity is nil parity. The board rate is the same board rate that we use. And don't worry about the handshaking. Apply that and just wait for the data to come in. So we'll start the data now. Now, again, it's not working. So um, we'll disconnect the device and reconnect it to port 33. So again, it's, it's coming in now. So you can see that the data is entered on the bottom line and it's, been, and it's scrolling up. So we have a timestamp. We've got the temperature, uh, which is recorded by the micro bit. It's a higher temperature than the DHT temperature, which is 13.9. And the humidity is 61.9. So what's happening at the moment, um, we've got the data uh, streaming into Microsoft Excel. And um, you can save that if you want to. You can collect the data. You can change the uh, headings and uh, analyze that data on your uh, spreadsheet okay so that's all for now